In today's video, we're gonna continue work at Shane's house on the siding. So we've been getting hit by a ton of rain. So instead of letting the rain slow us up, we jumped inside and decided to do a lot of the prep work. First thing we wanted to do is build the roof that's gonna go over the second floor window. So Shane ripped up some two by fours and Tracy did some finish on a big piece of pine that you'll see later in the video. First thing he wanted to do is make a template for the rafters. It was important to make up a template because these rafters are gonna be exposed. They're gonna have exposed rafter tails like the rest of the house. And that's gonna help tie in all the uh, architectural parts of the house. So he really took time to make these uh, really fit well. So you can see here, he's doing basically a mock-up of what it's gonna look like. After he gets done with this, he's gonna take it apart and Tracy's gonna paint it all. We're gonna, he's trying to do things with really low maintenance, but that's gonna be under an overhang, so it's really not gonna see much weather. Here you can see the windows were installed very poorly. Uh, the framing wasn't really well done well, so we uh, reframed and uh, Yeah, Trace, how are you doing? Those. I'm doing great. <laughs> I stepped in the paint. Oh, full thing of paint? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so this that. So, so this is the color, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. And you're doing both sides? We're doing both sides, all the ends. Okay. Uh, beautiful pieces of wood. Yeah, look at how wide they are. Yeah. It's like, what, 12 inches? 12 inches. There's only one that has like a hole right here that goes all the way through. Oh, yeah. So maybe we can cut that out. Um, that would probably be covered by the, the board, too. Yep. Beautiful. You might have noticed some of those boards were a little bit more narrow than the others. Those are going to be ripped up into smaller boards for the battens uh, that you'll see later in another video. Uh, but I figured I'd just let you know. So it, here you can see we get the windows framed up. We actually removed the door and uh, exchanged it with another window from another part of the house. Gives a little bit more of a symmetrical look to everything. So while Shane was finishing up, uh, sealing up those windows and Tracy was painting, I figured I would jump on uh, installing that roof over the second floor window. So you can see that board was really wide. And the reason we used a, like a finished looking board like that is because you can see right underneath the overhang. And we figured it would be better to look at that uh, nice piece of pine instead of a piece of plywood or OSB. So at this point, we didn't need the deck anymore for a stable place to put our ladders. So it was gonna come out anyway, so we figured this would be a good opportunity to get rid of it. Luckily, it wasn't held to the house by much. It looks like we're struggling to get rid of it here, but uh, we ended up flipping it over and it was able to drag away pretty easily. Tracy and Shane uh, put a ledger to rest the siding on. Uh, in a while, he's going to get a, uh, a piece of plastic board and make a water table molding on the bottom of the siding. Uh, he didn't have it at this point, so he figured he'd just put a ledger it and uh, just use that as a guide. Yeah, you can see he's ripping up those smaller boards into battens. We had a good system down. Uh, I would do most of the cutting and Shane would install the boards and while he was waiting for me to cut because I wasn't really cutting that fast because I was just making sure that the cuts were really good, he would do some of the landscaping like he wanted to get rid of some of the rocks and some of the debris that was under the deck. This will probably be the last video we do for quite a while because uh, we're going to keep our head down and just uh, continue doing some of the painting. It's going to be some of the stuff that doesn't really make good videos. 
So you probably won't see a video about the house for another month, maybe a couple of months. Guys, what do you think? Came out awesome. <laughs> this worked out really well. We've had different um, opinions on whether we should should have kept the front porch, but I think that's how you take a roof down. In, uh, tying in some of the details to the other part of the house, it really makes it look really good. Well guys, thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time. Like I said, we won't be uh, doing videos on this for a little while now. We're gonna be concentrating on this part right here and it's gonna be just a lot of painting, but we will show you the, uh, the end result. Uh, it might be in a month or it might be next fall. Thanks for watching.